That's all I've got for you today, but it's a good one, isn't it? That's the reamer that we need to put through the brake pedal, and then we can carry on on the lovely glide path that we were before. Let's not hang around too much. Actually, I'll show you this because it's really nice. Look, I, I restored the wiper mechanism for absolutely no reason at all. Like it. So we can pick up where we left off in the brake pedal or overall pedal video. I need to get it off. I need to ream those bushes so it sits nicely on its, on its bolt again. And then everything goes back in the car. Figure out if we need to move the paddle bit at all, which I think we do. I think it's probably going to be wrong. And then we do that, paint it all, and then look at it. It'll just it'll look good, won't it? Quick release. I haven't used a reamer before, but she fits. Whale said just to um, use a pistol drill, and go steady. This is my bolt that's supposed to be able to supposed to be able to go through, and you can see that she's a little bit too tight, so that won't do. What I have done is I so I crimp these in. I put some stud lock on and I repressed them in so that they shouldn't move again. It's not even that bad. I don't know if not that bad is what I'm going for. I'm going to compare it against the old pedal, just to be sure. This is where we've slipped up a bit, I think. It's just the, the pedal angle, the paddle angle at the bottom. It's just not quite where I want it. See that? I think if it just tilted back a little bit, we'd be alright. But I think to do that, I might have to cut it off. And to cut it off, I'm going to have to ruin the pedal. Not the pedal, just the paddle pedal. The paddle at the end of the pedal. Okay, I'm not going to be happy with it like that, am I? So let's cut it off. Now it's a little bit DT and the current belts that we've got are kind of no more abrasive than bad toilet roll but it's alright isn't it? Looks good, huh? I came down the other day and did this accelerator pedal. I went a bit, I went a bit full bifter on it and even drilled the holes in the same place as the cow sonic car. For some reason they missed one here. I don't know, you do these things, don't you? So the returns and stops aren't set up yet and then this will obviously be a bit lower as the linkage goes in. Close. 
close. I think it needs to go up and left a tiny bit, but the angle's a lot better. You stay there, I'll pop back for you. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to put another tack the other side and then just triple check it. I think we'll call it we'll call it there. I'll be able to stamp on that and I'll be able to hit that at the same time. So, job done. I'm happy with that. Should we see if the bias bar still fits? That would be annoying. Good, the to-do list is shortening, isn't it? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? What do I need to do to be able to build this up properly? I need to do these these pedal paddles, don't I? And then I think it's a matter of building up. I, I really hope I've got all the bolts that I need to put it together. I did do, I might have to trim down some studs and stuff, but other than that, I think we'll be okay. I'll probably leave this bit off it.
in, but at what cost? Springs are painful, aren't they? Springs hurt. We'll put the clutch to the side, and then we'll um, we'll think about master cylinders. Master cylinders. This is going to involve seats, I think. I've got three AP master cylinders, two for the brakes, which are essential. One for the clutch because it matches. Um, three different sizes. The reason to go for the reason I'm going for AP master cylinders is because the distance the piston travels before it shuts the reservoir so the dead space at the top of the pedal is minimal compared to a girling mile cylinder so we've got the three of them and they're they're rather lovely um, the whole pedal box was designed around them and the proper cars had AP mile cylinders in them you know when people mark things with paint pen it's going to be good the thing is they do it in just a few different sizes I think they do them in 90mm, 130 and 160 I might be wrong, something like that. Regardless, the, the size I needed they didn't have, so I had to go for the 160, and I have to cut these down to where I want them. I need to be sh exactly sure where the pedal is, and that I'm happy with it, before I cut this. So to be happy about where my leg is going to be, i.e. where the pedal height is, I need to get the seat in there. Seat then. Okay, if I was doing that without you there probably take these dirty jeans off and just do it in my pants but you can't be trusted now the front needs to come down a little bit I was planning on, on making or getting new blanks of these seat mounts so I can get it exactly where I want but I, th I think my hips are going to be in the right place so that should give me enough understanding of, of if the pedals are right I think I'll, I'll, I'll set it there to begin with in terms of chop them there because it's on the high side of anything so if I chop them there I can always go back to it and, and take a little bit more off if it isn't just in the adjustability of it but I think um, that's pretty good the only thing is the clutch is right on the return spring point I'd say the seat could go forwards a, a smidge if anything, but I need all the dash in the wheel. We'll do that right at the end. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. In terms of in terms of the brake and clutch, I, th I think we're all right. I think we, we're going to go with this. So let's go and look at the master cylinders. We'll go now, but I'm just going to sit in here for a while. If that's all right. Right, stay with me. I think this is the last time we're at the bench for this, which is lovely, isn't it? Uh, I put the front master cylinder in. Pedals on it stop. The bias bar is flat, and the rod is say like 75% in the amount of thread engagement that I've got in the whole clevis so it should mean I've got a bit of adjustability either side quite a lot of adjustability actually because of the pedal ratio 
I'm going to cut one, then put it back in, check it's all okay, then I'll cut the rear, and then I'll do the same with the clutch, and then I think we're, I think we're okay. Do you want to see the real reason for buying AP Master Cylinders? They're all cut, we can we can all bolt it to the car now. Went to GSF car parts to get some Loctite and they had unbranded Loctite for seven quid. So and then the guy looked confused when I was like, no mate, and left. Like and went to Halfords trade card, five pound fifty. What's the world come to when Halfords is the financially viable option to go to? Spent ages designing this and wanted it to really kind of be as it should from the proper cars and work properly and look nice. Probably nicer than it did in them. I can't, you know, when people are actually building race cars in the spirit in the 90s, I, I doubt they kind of put as much effort into keeping everything clean. So, yeah, I'm really happy and it's all good components and it's done. It's also nice. That's the first time I've. That's the first time I've Loctited anything to the car. I might even paint pen it. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I haven't put on the bias bar yet. What I've done is, because it's studs going through the bulkhead, rather than any bolts anywhere, because there's not much room behind the mast cylinders to get a bolt through or anything, um, I've Loctited the end of the stud that goes into the pedal box, and I'm just waiting for it to dry, and then I'll take everything back out again, fit the bias bar, and then do a final fit on the mast cylinders. Shame to turn that one down really, absolute banger. Um, I couldn't resist putting the balance bar in, the, the Loctite hardened up enough so I could get everything off and back on again. As is normal, bias bars are a bit of a pain in the ass to assemble but we're all the way there and pff, it's so good. There's like, well in terms of, obviously I haven't driven it yet, a few more bits to do. Um, in terms of play at the top of the pedal, so this is more over the whole assembly of it. There's just nothing, like right on the pad there's probably a quarter of a mil before all the slack's gone. A lot of that is thanks to Wales for the, for the top part of it. And then just good components like tilted and AP, but I cannot wait to drive it. There's things like, things like your, your servo and factory or girling masters and are always going to make the pedal bad but this will i can't wait i'll let you know in a few years when it's when it's going that's it i'm calling it share it around subscribe if you haven't subscribed already don't really know what to do next i want to i'm going to build a um a, a foot rest i've got about six thousand meters of uh, alley there so i'll probably try and make it out of that get some more practice in um, and then I really need to get on with this diff 
sorting the back end out, get all that together. But then, I, or I could do interior bits, couldn't I? Get some glass in, who knows? The world is our oyster.